Hello, welcome to Perfectly Mediocre. Today we're taking a look at the demo for Tavern Talk. I saw that you were perfect, and so I loved you. But now I realize it was all just smoke and mirrors. So the game is described as a like cozy visual novel that's based a bit on D&D. So I'm curious. Let's check it out. Hiya, Inkeep. How's it going? All fine and dandy? Can't complain. How about you, Fable? All fine and dandy? Yes, yes, all fine and dandy. I, I had such an exciting day. Really, really exciting. Did you go on an adventure? Even better. I took a walk around the grove, and then I replanted a mushroom that had fallen over. Then I patiently waited for it to turn into a mushroom monster, or a mushroom mimic. Maybe a gnome? Did it? No, but I got to take another walk around the grove. How was it? Great! I got to see the same stones, the same trees... The same amaranthine hydra guarding the entrance to Avalon. The same moss. I even got to water the asters. They didn't really need it, but I was there, so... Sounds very exciting. Who am I kidding? My life is as exciting as a roasted nut. Nuts are healthy, very thrilling in sauces, or as a snack. There are various types of nuts. Walnuts, peanuts, hazelnuts. I'm allergic. Oh. I didn't know that. Oh, no worries. I mean, I never told you. And hey, at least something would happen if I ate a nut. Just not something very fun. Anaphylactic shock and all that. Uh, does that count as an adventure? No, I think that counts as a mistake. So, what you're saying is that you're missing some spice. Oh, no, 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 no. I have a very sensitive stomach. I don't think chilies would help me much. Though I'm very good at growing phoenix chilies. I was talking about the spice in your life. Ah, oh, that's what you meant. Well, yes, yes, exactly, that's it. There's no chili flakes, no garlic, no dragons. Just a lot of salt. I'm like a bland soup. So, a classic case of boredom, I see. Do you know that feeling when nothing exciting is going on in your life? Like, life isn't bad, but also not particularly fun. Have you tried visiting a circus? Or have you tried adding some zest to your soup? Huh? Drama, buzz, excitement, something fiery. Go to the theater or a gala. Arrive in a hot air balloon. A hot air balloon? Don't they fly up really high? Yes, I think that's the point. Ah, I'm afraid of heights. And of people. And of actors. But apart from that, I'm trying. I tried singing. But what is singing if not the telling of a tale? How can I sing of things I never live through anything? What do you mean? Well, day in, day out, I live in the same green soup of routines. Sure, I have my forest and I look after it. But I want to get out there and see something. Like, for example... Listen to the song I started writing. I wish to be a hero slaying mighty drakes. I wish to meet a pretty nymph resting by the lakes. A pretty nymph? That's daring. Sounds like a good song opening to me. Of course it is. That's the point. Finding them enjoying themselves in the water. The sun shining through the treetops, making the stream glisten in fragmented light. A divine beauty. I would love to sing about exciting, magical things I encounter. But, to be honest, the most exciting thing in my life is coming to your tavern and discovering new drinks. Not a lot of songs you can write about that. I wouldn't mind a jingle. I'll think of one. 
Can I mention nymphs? I'd prefer if you didn't. Okay, maybe one day I'll get to offer them their own jingle. In the meantime, can I offer you a drink? Yes, I'd love a drink. The usual? Yes, please. That means a swift strike, in, in case you forgot. Thank you for the reminder, Fable. It's my favorite. It always makes me feel like a featherlight nymph floating on the waves of a sunny lake. Do you want to be with a nymph or be the nymph? Both? But mostly I want a swift strike. Message received. Although... Although... I was wondering... I've been coming to your tavern for so long, and I still don't know anything about how you make your drinks. Could you show me? Sure. Really? Yes. What should I do? Do I need to put on an apron or summon a familiar? How do I summon a familiar? Just follow me. Welcome to my drink mixing nook. Hello, Andu. Careful, I haven't fed him yet. Where do we start? Well, usually I start by figuring out what my patrons want. To make sure I don't forget what they ordered, I take notes in my journal. Let's have a look. Oh, you pinned my order. I did. If I want to look for specifics, I check my detailed notes. I do keep a log, just in case. When I'm sure I know what was asked of me, I browse my recipes. Can't you just freehand mix something to see what sticks? No. I like to mix and match for a more varied result, but the right balance is crucial, so I stick to my recipes. When I've settled on one, I can use the chalk to draw it on the board. What if you pick the wrong one? I can either erase it with the sponge or just pick a different recipe. My ingredients are stored in the five bottles on the right. There's dexterity, intelligence, defense, strength, and charisma. I think dexterity sounds the tastiest. I had a feeling you might say that. If I mess up or want to redo my drink for any other reason, I can simply feed my mistakes to Andu. Once I'm done, I ring the bell to activate the primordial vortex. Actually, I don't need to bore you with the magical details. Just try making a drink. You've got this. Alright. She wanted a swift strike. Okay. We might end up needing to put a little bit more of that in there. Okay, we need some of this. Okay, that's about right. And we need a bit of this, it looks like. We really have to get that right on. Yeah, that might be too much. We need just a little bit of this. I don't think I have room in my glass anymore. Let's feed that to Andu. And try again. Okay. So we need a little bit of this. Okay. Seems to be about in the right spot. And then this we need to get to there. Okay. And then that seems to already be where it needs to be. So now we need this until it gets to there. There we go. So it does let us know when we have it right.
Wow, it actually does teleport. Of course it does. What did you think was happening? I thought you were just very good at sleight of hand. I see. Well, give your creation a taste. That's delicious. I made that? You made that. Thank you for showing me the ropes. Thank you for your enthusiasm. These adventures you dream of, aren't you scared they'd be the end of you? Maybe, but how would I know if I never try? Do you actually want to try? Well, yes, I want to tell great stories, but... But what? Never mind. How can I help you? A drink. For you? Right. What kind of? Drinkable. Very specific. Thank you. How about a spoken heart? Some charisma couldn't hurt. Sure, whatever. Alright, so we for sure want to get this all the way to the point. There we go. And then we need this one. Just one over. Like so. And then it looks like we need a bit of this. There we go. I'm catching on. This should be digestible. Maybe even tasty. Thanks. Almost washes away the memories of that banshee haunting the lonesome lagoon at night. And our bone-shattering song of sorrow. Almost. Alright. The brooding type, I see. What are you thinking about, Fable? Just dreams. Yours or someone else's? Mine. Other people seem to have the courage to follow theirs. Why can't I be like that? Isn't that up to you? I wish it was. My brother says my dreams are a fool's errand, that I'm running away from where I belong. We are rangers, Fable. We belong to the woods, like the stream that ripples down the mountain. Or the birds in the trees. We keep the balance. It's what we're meant to do. And is that what you want to do? Yes. N no, not really. I want to experience things outside the safe borders of the forest. I want to live a life so full of adventure, boredom will feel like bliss. I want to be brave and strong. And I want to sing songs about my adventures that make other people yearn for that same freedom. Of course, I could never leave the Ashen Grove behind forever. It's my home. But there's nothing wrong with going away from time to time, right? I mean, my brother looks after the Grove, as well as my sisters. I think it'd be fine without me. Then you should do what your heart desires. Will it stop aching, then? I think so, yes. What if it's wrong to leave, though? What if destiny never meant for me to leave? What if it did? That would be a dream come true. Be your own genie, Fable. Your adventures start with you. Thank you, Innkeeper. You really are the most exciting part of my day. Greetings, Traveler. How may I help you? You own this establishment, Innkeep? Last time I checked. 
With whom do I have the pleasure? The name's Carolyn. You can call me Carol or Lynn. Couldn't care less. Nice to meet you, Care Lynn. What can I do for you? Perhaps something to drink? You do the thing with the quests, right? So they say. Do you want one? You can have a look at my notice board. Urgh, no, no quest for me. But I may have one for you. Or your notice board. Tell me more. Heard of a werewolf making trouble up in Tregaren. Terrorizing farmers, tearing sheep apart. The whole program. A werewolf? That's news to me. Listen, me too. Didn't see one in almost a decade. And that was far south in Erave. Been wondering if it's the same one, just moving up, like a nomad. I thought the werewolf hype died along with that one romance novel. Ugh, you mean the one with the vampires? I think so. Nah, that just split society into two camps. Team werewolf or team vampire? Which one are you, Inkeep? Team werewolf. Is it the fur or the pecs? <laughs> Neither. Questionable experiences with the other camp, more so. I'm itching to ask for details. Don't. How about you? Wouldn't you like to know? Yes, that's why I asked. Keep guessing. Has anyone ever told you that you could pass as a werewolf? <laughs> yes, all the time. At least twice a day. Only downside of looking like a wolf is getting mistaken for one. I see. Is that why you don't want to take care of the werewolf yourself? Yes. No. I'm just afraid he might look a little too much like my Uncle Dragon. Would feel bad slaying that fella. You know, hunched back, hairy, crooked teeth. Is it a werewolf or just Uncle Dragon? You can't tell. Same fate befell Aunt Olga. I'm sorry to hear that. Nah, that hag had it coming. Never fall behind in your grooming schedule, or before you know it, the next wannabe Van Helsing will strike you down with a silver arrow. Do the Van Helsings also hunt werewolves? Eh, don't know. Don't care enough to check. Either way, that's southern werewolf, yeah? Right. Anything else that might help others get done with it rather swiftly? Fetch? Pardon me? Should they get into a dangerous situation, they'll just have to start playing fetch. That works. On any dog, trust me. Good to know. Thanks, Care Lynn. It's not that hard. Either Carolyn, Care, or Lynn. Gotcha, Carolyn. Alright, Chief. You got a name, or is it just Inkeep? Just in keep for now. Playing hard to get, I see. Well, in keep, then before I venture on, you've got a drink for me? Of course. What would you like? I'll take something powerful. Something with a whole lot of strength. And you don't dare give me any of that watered-down muck instead. Something with a lot of strength. Okay, the Southern Brawler looks like it has strong strength. This is the strength one. So we'll go ahead and fill that in. And we'll go a little bit of this. And a little bit of this. There we go, a southern brawler it is. A drink with zero water, as requested. Not bad, just what I was craving. Thanks. Where will you head from here? Half back west, through the Ashen Grove, got some business to take care of. What kind of business? 
Personal business. Care to elaborate? No. But you won't stop asking until I do, will you? No. My cousin claims her crops are being stolen by undead snails. Obviously, I'm pretty sure she's hallucinating. But I did hear some folks complaining about an undead uptick in the West, so... Might as well humor her. Make sure she hasn't turned into an undead snail herself? Something like that, yeah. It's odd, ain't it? Resurrecting the dead. It's certainly unconventional. That's one way to put it. I think there's not much use digging up the past. It's just going to open wounds you stapled shut. Or eat your face. The past haunts everyone willing to listen. <laughs> Would you mind talking like a normal person? I ain't exactly up for philosophizing. You started this conversation. And I'm ending it. Alright. Well then. If you find any more rumors for me or need aid, don't shy away from coming back. I'm more of a lone wolf. Don't do groups. But sure, for more work, I'll be back. I'll be waiting. Speaking of rumors, you know how to turn them into proper quests, right? Don't want them to go to waste. Fine, I guess I've got a few minutes. Let me see your setup. Okay, I also keep them written down in my journal so I don't forget. I think I clicked something there. Smart. I think the next... I think the best next step would be to sort in the matching snippets on your quest page. Just drag them over and make sure they're all for the same quest. Otherwise, you'll end up confusing adventurers. Once you're done, select that quill of yours, and it'll be written up. Got it? Got it. Thank you for your help, Carolyn. Put it on my tab. That's not how that works. Good night to you, too. All right, then. Let's assemble this quest. All right, a werewolf secret weakness is playing fetch. Apparently no dog can resist a urge to run after a stick. The werewolf had previously been seen... Okay, so that's... Werewolf had previously been seen in Erove. Um... The Vukakin Carolyn told me about a werewolf who is roaming around Terrigan, so that seems to work together. A werewolf on detours. A reticent Vukagin, I really, despite living with someone who's played D&D &D for year, decades, <laughs> there are some words I still don't know how to pronounce, so bear with me. Passed by the Wayfarers Inn, reporting a werewolf making their way up to Tregaren from Erove. They pose a potential threat to both helpless sheep and the villagers. Apparently werewolves love playing fetch. Are you brave enough to take on this quest and save Tregaren from this werewolf Marion? Mayhem? All right, so that is where I'm going to end this episode of this. I do want to try taking a look at more of it in another episode, so stay tuned for that next week. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider taking a moment to paw that like button, comment to share your thoughts, and subscribe for more mediocre content like this. Until next time, remember, you are perfect just the way you are. I saw that you were perfect, and so I loved you. 
But now I realize it was all just smoke and mirrors I was blinded by the lights, caught up in a fantasy I saw that you were perfect, but you're not what you see